Hi, this is Robin with the San Francisco Bay Area Sasquatch Believers. This is another one of my favorite fishing locations. And I haven't been out here in a while since I look at the world with new eyes, you could say. But I'm, I'm looking at different sign and I don't have an opportunity to get down into the fishing area today. But I wanted to show you the sticks in the trees. And then I haven't gotten over there because the grasses are too wet and I have clients with me, but please correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't that appear that that giant tree is broken, bent right there? I need to get over there and check that out, but I'm not able to do that right now. Okay, and then right here, I got a dark buddy just appeared. Where is he? There he is. See, when my camera moves, I always feel like that's them doing that. And then we have beautiful dark spaces here. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Okay, so over there. Now, I want you to look at, see that right there? That's a big gob. Gob is my new word in case you didn't notice for some reason. It, we always thought it was a beaver house. And I have made the comment on many occasion that anyone could actually go in there and live in there. Um, stop here, let's see. Hang on one second. All right, so, uh, see that water rushing over there? I like to fish over there. That water is not normally quite so murky. I'm gonna stop you and come back. Okay, I'm back. So, I love the little hangers over here. I could probably spend my whole day taking pictures over here. But I fish right down there, and I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm gonna back it up. Okay, so in those trees right there, I have fished from a location right around there by those rocks. And there's a lot of reeds and grasses and things right through there. But one time, I was looking up into the trees. I was fishing right there. And in this big tree over here, I saw something up inside there. And then, oh my gosh, what is that? I can't see this very well right now. And then I realized that right there where I was standing fishing, were all these reed grasses and like a little screen and that I couldn't actually see what was going on on the other side. Anyway, look at this, you guys. Oh, and look at what's right here in front of me. Wow, how cool is that? Okay, so the reason I think that this is a cool place for them is there's fish, there's geese, heron, duck. I know there's fish here because I've pulled bass out of that water. And right here are houses, right? So we have observation spots. Fishing spots. They probably ran the beavers off if there were ever beavers in there.
I think there's probably moms and babies in there, if anything. Elderly. Oh, there's the blue. Ha, 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 ha. There's my buddy. One of them at least. Okay, so back in there is where I fish. And now I'm gonna end up coming back in there and doing some field research, I'm sure. Oh hey, what is that? Squatchy. Only mackerel. I don't think I'll ever be able to fish here again. I spend my whole time looking for signs. I hate when the lighting does that. Okay. Look at all those little holes in there. So, yeah. Battery suddenly running low. Suddenly running out of memory space. Okay. This is Robin with the San Francisco Bay Area Sasquatch Believers. Today is Thursday, February 28th. I finally got it right. Y'all have a good day. Hopefully I can catch this before I really run out of battery. Look right here. There's a bigger hole an air hole. It's right here on the hillside. As I'm walking, I'm seeing way more activity than I've ever seen here before. Is it catching it? Where the hell am I here? There's the sticks. Okay, where, what am I looking for? There's that. Okay, I'm looking for that. 
and then this stuff here. Holy mackerel. I need to get down in there. Oh yeah, there's a whole ridge right here. Okay, so I think that's an air hole, guys. All right, signing back off.